everyone, uh, Raider dashing one more here. All right, it's about uh, 12.30 on a Wednesday morning, I think now. Oh, jeez. Anyway, um, all right, still working on yesterday's video. What did they for? Monday's video. I'm a couple of days behind, I guess. Anyway, uh, and just to give you an insight into uh, yesterday's work quickly, um, I'd work till 4.30 a.m. Started about 5 o'clock um, on Monday, uh, no, yeah, Monday evening, and then finished at 4.30 on um, uh, this morning, no, yesterday morning, Tuesday, good grief. Anyway, um, it was an awfully long, long shift, and uh, the reason I did it for that long as well, I thought the incoming stop, I was getting ready for the incoming storm. Uh, I need got some major repairs coming up on the van, and um, I thought I'd just carry on for a little bit longer. And I was somewhat intrigued at what if been uh, happens after, uh, well, after midnight. Because the uh, when I've checked the uh, app every now and again, it shows that it's so darn busy after that time. So I thought, okay, well maybe one day or one evening I'll be able to uh, uh, have a go at that. And anyway, I'll leave all that fun for then. But I'm going to do another video on that, and that one might end up just being a voiceover one with all the pictures. But anyway, tonight or uh, Tuesday night. I started, I think, about six o'clock. Uh, I was around about there. We'd uh, gotten out late. I had to uh, deal with some stuff, and I'd uh, honestly not. Um, was pretty bloody tired. Oh, I'm getting to uh, finishing up work at that hour, and. Um, Anyhow, so got out late, went out to, um, oh, what's that bloody place? Texas Roadhouse. My wife likes it there. And actually, if you get in there early enough, you get the early dining special or something. And uh, I think it's like a tenner or something for uh, a decent-sized dinner. But anyway, uh, she likes it in there better than I do, but... But, uh... One thing, I like to get a vegetable plate. You know, vegetable seems to be a bloody hard thing to get at a, at a restaurant. I don't understand why it's so bloody hard. You've got farmer's markets all over the sodium place. Why is it so hard? Anyway, um, but Texas Road, I say do, do some veggies, fresh veggies. And um, But the only thing about every time I've ordered it before, it comes in individual bowls. Not about this, but you don't got nothing to know. But anyway, it's not going to give you a proper rendition of that, what size it is. But anyway, it comes out in these individual bowls, and it's like, why don't you just put the bloody thing on the plate? One, you'll save up on all the soddy washing up, for one. I understand that probably the reason you do that is because you can get a, a better representation of a portion size. Well... Again, it's just, you're wasting time. And you're also wasting energy too. Um, we're all on about bloody global warming and all that now, but well, for a long time, but no, but, and here's we've been, uh, Texas bloody roadhouse doing all these dinners and <laughs> not doing very well for the environment with all this uh, uh, washing of all these vipping plates in the dishy washers. Washes or other. Anyhow, tonight I made sure that they rip him and put it all on one plate because I got sick of that. And if they weren't going to do it that way, I wouldn't have eaten it. Anyway, um, but it was packed when we got it. I mean, packed. I mean, the place ain't that brilliant. I don't understand how it comes it gets packed that bad. I bet it's all right. It's just another bloody state, that's yes, all it is. <laughs> There's up seen of those around. Anyway, um, 
So tonight got started, uh, as I say, a bit later. Um, went over to buy the mint and uh, sat there, turned down a bunch of flipping stupid offers as usual. Um, my percentage rate is uh, down a bit again. Um, I did get it back up a, quite a bit today, but uh, this evening, but to be honest, I don't, uh, I don't care about the flipping acceptance rate. I'm still not taking the stupid offers. Anyway, um, so yeah, the first job, the first job that comes in, that was, was GameStop. Okay. Uh, it was going, I think, 12 or 13 miles, something like that. Going out to Raymore. And, uh, I mean, I've no idea what they do. GameStop isn't a flipping shop I really care about. Even though they had a nice set of headphones in there that I'd like, I, I spotted on the back wall. But um, with the microphone and all that, could be handy for uh, doing videos and such. But but anyway, um, I was pretty pleased off in there too. Um, I went in... Got over there and the job was paying nineteen dollars and some change. Oh woof. What the hell they want delivered? Alright, anyway, get over there. It's right next to uh Wingstop in that same uh same shopping centre there. And um So I pulls up out there. I've only been in there once more once before and it was what about a month or six weeks ago, something like that, I don't know. And um Anyhow, it's only one person, one uh, per customer in there, I think, then. And a um, couple of people working. Anyway, this uh, youngish lad, ripping tall fella, he goes, um, oh, who am I there for? I said, well, do dash for whoever this is, whatever the name was. He went, all right. So then he, he proceeds to get the receipts out. I mean, they're, they're looking it up on the computer, what it is and such. And um, then he gets an envelope out and then pulls off whatever this thing was to uh, be delivered and puts it in, in the bag, in the uh, envelope. And, um, and then puts a receipt, I think, in there too, or may put it in the big GameStop bag, I'm not sure. But anyway... Um, so he says, oh, he says, um, you know, uh, watch out, people, uh, DoorDash people have been robbed because of this, you know, GameStop stuff. I went, fine. I said, I'll knock on the bloody door then. You know, people would just uh, follow the dashes around and uh, uh, just take the stuff off the doorstep. I went, fine, I'll just uh, call the customer then, get them to come out. And... Uh, And you know, I said, also, if you've been normally hanging around for a little bit, it's time to give customers time to, uh, uh, I forgot to turn my dash off, whoops. Um, give customer time to um, get in, What you know, come out, get the stuff and go in. I don't necessarily, I've only ever done two flipping uh, GameStop uh, uh, deliveries, so anyhow, both of those have been uh, to the door. And, uh, or to the customer. So anyway, this one says, leave it at the door. And then he says, oh, then he, he, he goes, proceeds on. He says, oh, and some dashes of, uh, stolen customers' items. And I went, I went, that ain't me, mate. That ain't me. And I said it in that, uh, I was pretty flipping stern when I said it too. And uh, he went, oh, no, no, no. He says, I didn't mean to mean you. He says, no, other dash, dashes did it. I said, mate, flipping, I understood what you meant. And I'm not flipping, I'm not one of those. Uh, all I want to do is to get the bloody, uh, I'm out to make some money. I don't care if you've got a bloody gold bar in there. I just want the flipping delivery fee. Pay whatever I'm owed. So, that's it. I said, if you want a bloody reference, go to Pizza Hut across the road or 
several other bloody restaurants around here. Um, but I ain't fucking uh, into stealing, stealing anything. If other dashes are fipping stupid enough to do that, then that's on them. And why they do that, I don't know, but anyhow. Anyhow, so I weren't exactly pleased with that, but it, but anyway, he put it all in the bag and went off. Then I just bought out there and handed it over to the missus and she just held on to the bag all the way there. And, um, yeah, got down to this house. I mean, I didn't really suspect that anything was going to be happening. Um, I don't know Ray Moore that well. I mean, we've been there several times over the over the year of working with DoorDash, etc. Et Seemed a nice enough neighbourhood where it was going to. Nicely, uh, nice lot of Christmas decorations too. But, you know, as they uh, showed some concern at GameStop, where it was going on the porch and that, I think that was like, well, it would have been well hidden. But... You know, just for the sake that, that you know, this bag is this great big bag, which I don't think was a very big item in it, but whatever. It, um, it's got their name plaster all over the darn thing in big letters and that. It's like, oh, jeez, I'll just make sure. So I rang the customer when I got on the driveway and uh, the bloke says, he says, well, I'm not, not home. I said to him, GameStop, of, uh, I said, this is Ray, your DoorDash driver. Um, I've got a game, uh, got something from GameStop for you. And um, I'll, uh, I've got something for you, rather. And um, the shop has um, said that, has shown some concern about this being out on, the, on your doorstep or out on your porch or whatever because they've had some stuff, I guess, taken. And he says, all right, he says, I'm not home. He says, but I'll uh, let my wife know to come open the door. I went, fine. He says, are you there now? I said, yeah, I'm on your driveway. <laughs> I'll walk up the top then. Anyway, went up the top and uh, was looking at their Christmas decorations, basically. It was, and um, his wife came to the door and took it and was all quite pleasant and that. And that was it. Just a Merry Christmas, and off I went. Uh, took a few pictures of the house, just because, uh, just in case GameStop decided to hip and uh, give me some grief or whatever. But um, but I didn't foresee any problems with that one, of course. Um, and then just headed back. Um, headed back. Uh, what was my next one? I didn't do a lot. I think. I didn't do a lot of orders tonight. It, it wasn't... There was way too many fipping uh, ridiculous offers coming through. And uh, anyway, next one came through and it was... Uh, Stewie McBrews. Oh, great, a bar. <laughs> but it was paying decent and I went, yeah, I'll do that. And I'd read the... Uh, notes on it brief, briefly about where to go pick up i think i've only been in there once before and that was late one night and i guess well, one of the waitresses had uh come over and helped me because well they didn't have a lot of people when it did anyway um and then uh anyway i read it it said something about that the, the stuff was on the met stripping beer sign Anyhow, I walked in the front of the building. Um, there was a waitress that walked up to my way, but she was just uh, dealing with a uh, customer that uh, sat down. And then I spotted the uh, beer sign in the right at the back of the building. I just wandered over there, checked the vipping bag that was there. That's mine. Goose gone. And uh, went and delivered that. And then... Uh, then delivered uh, another one but it was a double order going to one house one from the mint and then i think it, yeah and the other was taco bell which uh of course held us up um but they were all going to the same house i sent a message to the lady while we were in the uh drive through at uh taco bell I said that uh, the lane appears to be uh moving uh, rather slowly <laughs> Um, 
the lobby is actually uh, closed. I did try that, but it said it was due to staffing shortages today that they wasn't going to open the uh, the lobby. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, yeah, went and uh, got all that, and then went and delivered it to uh, went down to uh, near Greenwood area or Rain Tree Lake area down towards there, and. Uh, there were some instructions on there what she'd given saying about using Google Maps it'd take you right there. Yeah, well, I didn't have any problem, but... And I'd just use whatever came up on the uh, uh, door dashing, whatever I got it set for. Anyhow, so yeah, went in, off and delivered that, and uh, actually the lady was sat in her van. Maybe she just uh, turned up, I'm not sure, but... And then got up there, sort of wandered down. I don't like to actually deliver to to this uh, area because they got like, the, these all these townhomes and the num the numbers on the doors just seem to be all over the bloody place they don't seem to correspond that well in some of them but anyway this one was sort of off the beaten track a little bit around the back of those other ones and uh it was like oh there we go that one and uh it all worked out and then I got out of the van and she come across from the other side. I guess she got out at that Chrysler van and she said, Oh, are you Raymond? I said, Only when I'm bad. <laughs> so she laughed and um, just handed her the food and off I went. Let her go. So I didn't need to take a picture, but I uh, had to, because uh, I'd picked up twice, it seemed that. I had to uh, say that I dropped the uh, Taco Bell off separately and then I had to uh, do the other one, the Mint, separately. I don't know why they just don't do it all as one, but anyhow, because it all came in together. And I think that was it, really. Um, rest of the night, it was uh, a bit ridiculous. Um, oh, yeah. I decided that we'd go back over by the Mint and sat over there for a little bit and... I said to my missus, do you want a hot drink? And I went over to the Adventure Cafe. It's about half eight or so then. And uh, went over there, got a couple of uh, hot chai tea lattes. And uh, so I was over there and uh, had a chat with him in there. All oh, that racket is. Had a chat with him in there and... Um, what's that red? And... Uh, I was too busy chatting. There was a young lady in there too. And was, we was all conversing between each other. And um, I told him about some of the antics I'd had last night. Or, yeah, last night. Yesterday morning. And um, and then I was paying for, paying for the items. And, uh, you know, I just wasn't really concentrating. I went, oh, well, that's how much it is. And, Put the card in, and uh, it, and uh, I thought it was my pin number. I went okay, do, 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 pin done. Didn't think anything of it, right? So we were chatting away, and then I guess he was looking at something on his computer, and he went something that doesn't look right here. And uh, he says, "Oh, Ray," he said, "That's generous of you." And he says, I suspect you didn't mean to do this. I went, what's that? He said, you just paid me $96 tip. I went, what? Uh, holy crap. I said, I know the flipping drinks that good, but buy me. Uh, he says, so we figured it out that we'd be more after going through it all again and him doing a refund on it. But I don't think it had gone through by then. I, I don't think. I think he said it, it doesn't look like it's gone through yet. Well, it's off of my account, I know that, but but it just marks it pending. But anyway, man, what? And he had turned, we went back to the pad, and the little pad there, it was what I thought was putting in my PIN number was actually um, the tip, tip part of <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Uh, um, so he marked all, all null and void, and then I paid it again. Oh, crikey. 
So there's a thing for you. Always check what you're doing. What you think might just be putting in your pin. We you might be giving someone a good bloody tip. Without even knowing. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> I probably would have gone a bit later. Why the hell is it so not enough in this account? <laughs> yeah. But I'm glad he checked it, uh, looked into that. So thank you to uh, JR at, at the Adventure Cafe. Very honest of you. <laughs> oh my good grief. But I can't believe I did that. So yeah, always check the pin pad because uh, yeah, what you think you might be putting in your pin code for or your uh, passcode or whatever it is um, may well be for a uh, tip. Anyhow, um, but other than that, no, I don't think we did anything. There was nothing real special tonight. No Christmas lights. Uh, I had no dogs to hip in and play with or anything tonight. If they had any sense, they were indoors ripping, snoozing. Oh, my belly just made a funny noise. And, um, yeah. But I'll do the video for Monday night and um, Monday night, Tuesday morning. And um, we'll see how that turns out. Because... I will say that going to Jack, I've got to turn this on. It's getting a tad chilly. Um, I will say that going to uh, Jack in the Box and in Independence makes the uh, Jack in the Box in uh, Lee Summit look super fast. 40 minutes I was in that line. Or oh, we was in that line. And. Um, but my wife figured it out because she's been in, in that flipping game before. She's worked, she's managed a couple of uh, restaurants over her years. And um, she says all they're doing, they're slowing it up. They're making you wait. They're making like uh, people wait at about 10 minutes at the uh, box. Because they know that they're bloody slow at the other end. And they're just making it that, that they're going through quicker. So, which uh, sounds about right, but but it was uh, it's not a place to go through. We you know, we went past there tonight, and there was only one guy on a drive-through. So hopefully that's all they get, because Jack Ice in the Box is not a place I ever want to go to again. Certainly that one, and I'm not keen on going to the one in Fippin Lee Summit, but. But I'd rather go to that one rather than the bloody idiots in uh, in uh, Independence. But anyway, um, all right. Well, if you enjoyed the video, click the thumbs up, of course, and um, also uh, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget, it don't cost you anything on the sub subscription. Nothing at all. You get to listen to me and look at my ugly face for free. And um. If bloody hell, my belly's making some weird noises. Better the belly, I suppose. Anyway, um, and if you want to be warned of new videos coming out, just hit the uh, the uh, bell icon. It'll come up over here, or maybe it'll be over here. Be one sign, and uh, hit that, which will be down below, and um, you'll uh, get warned of when new videos come out, so you can. Uh, race to youtube and never look or just run away anyway uh all right well um we've got an incoming storm apparently on i think on friday where it's going to be minus uh, minus 35 fahrenheit apparently with the windy chill and uh holy crap that is going to uh be a tad of a ch i might even put a jumper on for that <laughs> Because <laughs> the back out there and shirt sleeves yet again. Crazy. I did have one funny thing tonight. You know, I've got my, my uh, trusty Vipin hat that I've got. Keeps me head warm. Keeps me brains from Vipin cooling down. And um, I uh, 
The lady that I delivered to that had the, the uh, double order, she had the sushi and the taco bell. Well, the um, receipt had come off of her bag, and I guess it was still in, in the in the near the uh, coasters and that uh, near the coasters near the cup holders, excuse me. And uh, my hat was down there a bit later later on, so I get out. <laughs> Jeez. I got out into, uh, we went over to a quick trip right after that down there near Greenwood. And, um, that's where it was in. Yeah, anyway. And, uh, so I put, put me out on the knock. It was just being some sort of rustling. I don't know what was going on. And then I get out. And I go in, in the building. Thinking of, some, here's, here's some paper or something. I don't know go in there, some people were like looking at me, all weirdly, I'm strong with him, alright, anyway, so I'll go to the loo, do whatever I've got to do, and then I come back, and I've been washing my hands and that, great big mirror in here, and uh, wish all the soap and everything, doing washing my hands, I looks up, and then I'm aware that something is upon my head, Upon my uh, jacket, it looks like I've got a bloody feather hanging it. I didn't take a picture, I was going to do it just because it. And the darn thing's flapping away. Like, oh my goodness. It didn't stick to the bag, but it stuck to my bloody hat. <sighs> so anyway, I get come back out, out of the van, and uh, my wife has been having a fit of laughter. She saw it. So I've been hearing that for the rest of the night. <laughs> she said as I was going in, it was flapping up and flapping in and flapping up and flapping in. She had a good laugh about that. <laughs> Who knows what the people in the VIP in, uh, in the building thought when I wandered through the door with his thing flapping around the top of my head. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dear. Crap pot. But, um... Jeez. Weird noises. Anyway, uh... All right, as I said, that'll do. It gives you, everyone a bit of a laugh here, but keep that in there, actually. Maybe I'll keep that in there, too. And um, always keep a mask in your, in your top pocket, because if you're dashing, you need need to have a mask occasionally. People still worry about it. Um, and, you know, I deliver to the hospitals. I don't say all the time, but I... I deliver to the hospitals and I know other dashes do so always, if you've got a top pocket or just have one in your other in one of your other uh, jean pockets or whatever actually I've got two in my jean pockets to be fair and uh, just have one have it by you put it on it don't uh, do any harm I mean you just uh, stick it on and it can go in and deal with uh deal with whoever you got to deal with at the hospital and uh, take it off when, when you leave it ain't no uh, troublesome thing there isn't any reason to uh, make a bloody hoo-ha out of you've been just putting it on I mean DoorDash sent you these damn things for free just put it on don't be flipping ridiculous um anyway uh, yeah that's it so uh, look out for the other video which may or may not be before this one, but anyway. Somehow or other, I'll catch up somehow. Because I've got a bunch of pictures from that last one too. And a bit of a story too. Alright, anyway, thanks again. And uh, keep warm. And um, if you don't have to get... If you're in, in the area, Lee Summit, Kansas City area, uh, and uh, you don't have to go out on the roads... The, from I think Thursday night onwards or maybe just Friday not sure I haven't really bothered to watch the news too closely but um, don't go out if you don't have to go out don't bother to go out just have a lazy lazy day at home go to Vipin bed or something or just sit on the Vipin sofa and stick Vipin Allmark on or something and watch a bunch of Christmas videos or uh, if you like me and you like the British Vipping uh, uh, comedy and uh, dramas and that, 
and you've got a uh, Roku, Roku streaming device or even if you haven't you can download it onto your uh, iPad or your phone etc uh, get BritBox uh, BritBox is uh, you actually get a 7 day free trial on that but uh, it's a streaming cha channel and it's and I have flipping love with BritBox it's got stuff from the BBC and ITV and uh, it's got a load of no crap on it too but um but yeah it's got the older stuff and if you uh, really like the british comedy um one of our british classics would be only fools and horses go get that um davy jason a bloke called davy jason's in that and uh if you've uh, watched uh, pbs They've got a uh, show on there at the moment called um, Open All Hours. And Open All Hours was actually by started with uh, Ronnie Barker and uh, David Jason um, was in that. He was the young fella. But now they've actually got to change it now because they got Open All Hours again, I think is what it's called. And uh, David Jason is actually the shopkeeper in it now. He's the head shopkeeper. And uh, he's the one that wanders around in the brown coat. And um, it's funny. He's real funny in there. He's funny in all of it, actually. And um, I believe they've also still got a police drama, which uh, David was in or, or starred in. And it's called A Touch of Frost. And... Um, all of these programs have lasted of many years back home. Um, 23 years, I think, 24 years is how long only Fools and Horses ran. And um, believe me, you were like, it, it's funny. There's some sad parts in that in it, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I grew up watching that. It's a heck of a fun. And it's Christmas time now, and I've started watching it again. I will watch it all the way through. 23 years, I will binge bloody watch it. And I pretty much know it, know, know a lot of it, but I just love watching it. It's classic television for me. And, um, and then A Touch of Frost is in a uh, police drama. And uh, that's really good. I can't quite remember how many years that was on for, but I'm going to guess it maybe maybe another 18 years, 15, 18 years, something around about that. Um, once the show starts in the, starts back home in the UK, um, if uh, if everyone likes it, it it'll go on. It'll go on go on for many many years. Um, there was a uh, police drama that was filmed in Wimbledon in, in this in a studio in the Wimbledon and um, It was called the bill and uh, The bill back home If you're not not familiar the reason we call it like, the uh, cops the old bill is because uh, the uh, police were invented or put together by a bloke called Sir Robert Peel. So we called it Bill. And he's old Bill. Anyway, um, or we call them Plod because they've got these size 10 feet and they used to walk the streets of London and everywhere else, just walk around and just, uh, they didn't all have cars, panda cars or whatever, they just drive, just walk around. One at a time or two at a time, you know. It, I often saw it. Or they ride a bicycle too. Damn, things have changed a heck of a lot. But you know, there's idiots around in the world that if you can uh, decide that they want to use use the cops as target practice or anyone else, and things change, unfortunately, for idiots like that. But anyway, um, yeah. So if you get Bricks Box, look up the look up the build. They don't have all the episodes. I wish they did because. There was actually I used to do work for work do some work for the bill. I didn't actually work for them. I used to uh, rent vehicles to them, and uh, I rented a lot of vehicles to them. And uh, they would just use them in an episode or two, and uh, 
yeah. And I was actually in it twice as an extra. So I didn't get famous from that. <laughs> anyway, it was fun. It was a fun thing. I, I did enjoy that part of, part of my life. And I didn't only stop at the bill. I went off and done other uh, productions too. Anyway, uh, I don't often thought that maybe I should get into that again. Because, like I said, it was good fun. All right, anyway, uh, enough of that. Get Roku um, and download BritBox on that. BritBox will cost you, it's free for seven days, as I said, I believe. And um, then I think it's like six or seven dollars for a month. But there's a whole lot of programs on there. Escape to the country, that's a, oh, that's a good one. Um, that's better than any bloody home show that they've got here. Um, that is just uh, absolutely brilliant, watch that. Um, of course, it's got keeping up appearances and uh, as time goes by are on there. Are oh, You Being Served, that's on there. Oh, good grief. Uh, Jonathan Creek is another mystery, drama mystery show. Um, that's actually quite intriguing, and that was actually filmed by my uncles. Uh, very close to my uncles, a lot of that. My great uncles, sorry. And um, there's a heck of a lot of uh, programs that never ever made it here to the US, and quite rightly deserve to be uh, shown over here. So if you're all into the British stuff, then uh, get that. And of course, you can download bloody. Uh, Amazon Prime on Roku and uh, uh, whatever else, Netflix and all of that bollocks, but I will always go to the other ones, go to BritBox. And I'll, there's another one called uh, Acorn TV, and they have a lot of British stuff on there, and uh, you'll also see on PBS that they use a lot from Acorn. All right, anyway, uh, so that'll be a fun thing for you to all uh, wrap up and do on... Uh, on the stormy days all right anyway thanks for watching and uh keep well cheers Ta -da.